Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. We've got another amazing week this week with huge reveals from Ninjago, Minecraft, City Creator, and more. Plus, will the next LEGO minifigures be for Space Jam? And could your favorite rejected LEGO Ideas projects be getting made after all? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First, over at Target, you can get a $10 gift card when you spend $50 on select LEGO items. And Amazon's having a similar deal where you can save $10 when you spend $50 on select items. From LEGO Hidden Side, we've got El Fuego Stunt Truck for 32% off. And the LEGO Minifigure Visual History Book with the exclusive figure is 30% off. From LEGO Star Wars, we've got the Boost Droid Commander for 25% off. And from LEGO Classic, the Medium Creative Brick Box is 24% off. Over at Walmart, they've got the LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar for 53% off. And this Walmart exclusive LEGO Dots Ultimate Designer Kit for 33% off. Over at Zavi, they got the LEGO Stranger Things The Upside Down Set for 10% off. And don't forget, over at LEGO, you can get this free LEGO ice skating ring set with your purchase over $150 and this free VIP gift set with purchases over $40. And if you want to check out all these deals and support the channel, I've left links in the description below. Next up, this week we got the mother load of all 2021 reveals when LEGO posted their first half 2021 catalog. So let's break them all down. First, we got our first look at the season 14 sets for LEGO Ninjago. Here we've got the Keeper's Village, which is a really cool play set in this rocky terrain. The island location provides some great details with this awesome three-headed totem. And these tribal villains definitely make an interesting foe for the ninja. And I'm really digging the new island looks for each of the characters. Next up, we've got the jungle dragon, and it wouldn't be a Ninjago season without one. I love the dragon's coloring and the tribal inspired markings, and it looks fully poseable. And there's even this small air glider for Zane. And again, great minifigure designs, especially that double headed villain. Next up, we've got Lloyd's jungle chopper bike. And this chopper kind of reminds me of the Avengers one. And it also has this likely detachable glider for Nia. And this is actually the only set with that new Nia. The final set is the catamaran sea battle. There's a red catamaran for Kai, and I really love the look of this with that red and gold design. And of course, there's another catamaran for the villains with a pretty interesting color scheme and a spot to trap Jay. And overall, this season's sets seem to be pretty unique. And from Ninjago Legacy, while we've seen most of the reveals, we did get this four plus reveal for Jay's Electro Mech, which looks nice with those newer legs. From Lego Minecraft, we've got two more reveals coming this March. First up, we've got my favorite, the Warped Forest, which has a really cool color scheme, plus a bunch of exclusive characters for a small set, including these awesome new head molds for the pig. Next up, we've got the first adventure, which features some really nice verticality with three different levels. Plus, there's a couple of sections of minecart and some unique character mobs. While there's no new pictures for Batman, they did reveal a new set would be coming in May 2021. And similarly for Monkey Kid, we're also going to be getting new sets starting in March. For LEGO minifigures, they showed off the recently revealed Series 12, but they teased an all new series that would surprise us in May. And the rumor mill is saying that this could be a series based on the new Space Jam movie, which could mean we could even get a LEGO minifigure for LeBron James, in addition to all of the wacky characters from Looney Tunes. But with only 12 minifigures per series this year, I'm just hoping they don't leave anyone out. But I guess they'll just leave us guessing till May. And speaking of teasers, we got our first look at the upcoming Universal and LEGO collaboration for their new line called Video. The rumor mill is saying that this line will have a digital component on your phone and could feature some similar features to TikTok. Though sadly, this QR code currently leads to nowhere, so we're going to have to see as we get closer to March. Next up from LEGO City, we got the reveal of the new set, Shopping Street. The set itself features a few of the new road plates standing out front of a small strip of stores, which features a small workout area, a bakery, and a bike shop. The street features some nice bright colors, and I like that there's even a bike lane. Plus, it is nice that this set comes with a handful of vehicles, including this sports car, this interesting tricycle, as well as this city service truck. This week, we also got our first look at the car transporter. This car transporter is quite large, and it can actually hold three vehicles vehicles on its two levels. And I like this function to lower the top level to load up this black and orange sports car. From LEGO Creator, we've got the Safari Wildlife Treehouse. The treehouse itself has a nice design with multiple balconies to watch the wildlife. And I'm actually digging this brick-built giraffe. We also have this space mining mech, which has a robust, poseable design, and it kind of is giving me some Hulkbuster vibes. From LEGO Classic, we're also getting three new sets. My favorite is the Creative Transparent Brick Set, which features all these awesome, colorful, transparent pieces to make some really interesting interesting creations. We're also getting a 
another set featuring tons of different wheels, and this small one featuring white bricks. From LEGO Technic, this March we're getting the Rescue Hovercraft, and I really like the way they captured all of the curves, and this neat heavy-duty excavator with all the treads. Next up, thanks to Brickset, we got a ton of photos of upcoming promotional sets and likely LEGO Store exclusives. First up from LEGO Ideas, we got our first look at this upcoming promotional set, which is the contest winner from a previous contest. The car looks really nice with that classic design and the interesting color scheme, and I love how they even managed to keep the surfboards from the original design. The LEGO Brickheads line is also back this year with two different sets based on pets. Here we've got the German Shepherd and Puppy, and I really love the look of these, especially the German Shepherd with the bandana. And next we've got the Short Hair Cat and Kitten, and I really like the way they built those ears. Next up we've got the Roses and the Tulips, which are all brick-built flowers, which will go really nicely with the new Botanical Collection. And for the holidays in 2021, it seems like they're moving away from the Brickheads, and now doing just a brick-built Valentine Bear. And they're continuing their line of Chinese New Year sets for the Year of the Ox. For LEGO Creator, we've also got a couple brick-built vehicles in this New York-style taxi, as well as a tuk-tuk, which are very interesting. Next up, this week, the LEGO-owned site BrickLink announced the revival of the AFAL Designer program, in addition to a ton of other announcements. The original program had adult fans submit their sets kind of like LEGO Ideas, where the winners would be chosen to be built out into sets you could buy on the platform. And the sets from the previous program were really cool. But the rumor mill is saying that this year's sets could feature an interesting LEGO Ideas twist, where the next round of projects could feature designs that weren't selected in LEGO Ideas. With so many amazing projects on LEGO Ideas, that means so many of them won't be chosen, sadly. And if this gives us a second chance at some of our favorites, I'm so excited. But as always, we'll have to see what happens next. Next up, thanks to senior model designer Justin Ramson, we got our first look at the LEGO Employee Exclusive Holiday Gift. The set contains a massive 919 pieces, and I really love the design of this box art, which is giving me It's a Small World vibes. This set itself commemorates 40 years of LEGO education and features the elves hard at work in the workshop. And it looks like there's a ton of built-in mechanisms with that hand crank on the side. While we can add this to the list of sets I'll never be able to get, I would really love to see this one in action, but at least I don't have to feel so bad that it's a Christmas X-Wing again. Next up, thanks to Promo Bricks and Brick Set, we also have got a ton of reveals around all the new poly bags coming out for 2021. For LEGO Star Wars, we've got the Imperial Shuttle, which definitely benefits from some of the newer parts lately. From LEGO Minecraft, we've got the Nether Duel. And I love how these Minecraft poly bags usually come with two figures. From LEGO Speed Champions, we've got the McLaren Elva, and I really like the look of this sleek car. For the new season of Ninjago, we've got Lloyd quad bike, and it's the perfect cheap way to get this newer version of Lloyd, and I love the gold machetes. From LEGO Ninjago Legacy, we've got the Titanium Mini Mech, which is surprisingly poseable and a two-in-one. From LEGO City, we've got one of my favorites in this pop-up LEGO store, and this small cart version of the store has a pick-a-brick wall, a register, and some nice printed sets. We've also got the fire helicopter, and I like this pilot minifigure, as well as this small police jet ski with a nice minifigure and printed detail at the front. And there's even another one for this mini car and skateboarder minifigure. From LEGO Creator, we've got this sleek red ring race car, as well as this 3-in-1 German Shepherd, which is pretty cute. And you've gotta love the LEGO Creator Clown, which has a really colorful and silly look. And there's even a LEGO Technic poly bag with this helicopter build. There's also a couple great new parts packs coming from LEGO Extra. And that doesn't even scratch the surface of all the poly bags coming for next year, so if you love these small sets, you're in for a real treat. Next up, there were two more projects this week to hit 10,000 supporters on LEGO Ideas. First up, we've got the Addams Family Mystery Mansion, based on the classic Addams Family TV show from 1964. The project's designer did a really nice job capturing the iconic shaping of this house with all of its dilapidated details. But of course, there's also a full interior with plenty of different areas to play in, as well as classic settings to play out all the scenes for the show. But whether you were a fan of the classic show or not, I think that LEGO fans will get a real kick out of this one, especially because of the spooky aesthetic. But with LEGO's current haunted house on the market, we'll have to see how this one fares in the review. Next up, we've got the Roman Warship, which is definitely a sight to behold. While we've gotten many pirate ships over the years, we haven't gotten anything like this from the Roman Empire. And I think the project's designer did an excellent job bringing all of its ornate detail to life. With all the different paddles, the colorful shields, and the really impressive display stand, I think this one would be an awesome set. But as always, we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, this week we got word that the LEGO 1989 Batmobile set has just gotten a revision. From this top-down view, you can clearly see right on top of the canopy this 6x6 black tile 
which is the one that's been replaced, likely due to its matte finish and that large mold mark at the center. So if you end up getting one of these more updated copies, you'll see that in the instructions and in the parts, this 6x6 black tile is changed out for three 2x6 tiles that were introduced in the recent Nintendo Entertainment System set. And while getting parts updated is rare, you may recall a similar thing happened with the LEGO Ideas Wally set back in the day. And thanks to an update from the LEGO Ambassador Network, it turns out if you have the older version of the set, you can reach out to customer service for the updated parts. And while this set may be sold out on LEGO's website, I have left a link in the description below for Amazon if you want to pick it up and support the channel. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news. And with all these 2021 set reveals, the hits just keep on coming. Out of the reveals this week, I'm really intrigued by the latest Ninjago sets. Plus, I can't wait to see what comes of the Looney Tunes minifigures. But honestly, there's just countless sets I'm looking forward to, so I'm just saving my pennies. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one! Hey guys, Michael here. Click it to watch last week's video with reveals from LEGO minifigures, Ninjago, Star Wars, and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe.